Around the globe, glaciers and the ice of the polar caps are melting. Sea levels are rising. Incidences of extreme weather like droughts, torrential downpours and flooding are increasing. Experts say this is the result of climate change caused by global warming. The pace of global warming has slowed somewhat over the last 15 years. It's plateaued. But we shouldn't forget there have been plateaus before. Climate change isn't always just a smooth rise. There are also natural fluctuations. But the overall trend remains unchanged. Around the world, temperatures continue to rise. Oceanographers regularly check the temperature of the seas, their salinity levels and changes in sea levels. Comprehensive measurements like these have only been taken for the past three decades. The lack of data from the past makes it difficult to predict future trends. Scientists assume that as the water of the oceans grows warmer and expands, sea levels around the world will rise. But they do know that sea levels won't increase by the same amount everywhere. Take Greenland, for example, where climate change is causing the island's vast ice sheet to melt, with surprising consequences for local sea levels. A model shows what happens when Greenland's ice melts, represented here by the blue weight. We see that Greenland rises because the ice mass is gone, and we also see that the ocean redistributes itself while maintaining the same volume. Water levels at the coastal areas around Greenland actually go down, but the waters around other coastlines rise higher than ever. Here in the tropical regions, the increase is actually greater than the increase caused by regular climate change alone, by the warming of the oceans. Professor Stammer's model can't yet demonstrate processes like this. It can't factor in influences unrelated to climate change either. Land rising or sinking can be due to things like groundwater being pumped out, or the extraction of natural gas, and so on. These local events can also lead to changes in sea levels. To understand how much, I'll give you one figure. The removal of groundwater has caused Tokyo to sink some six meters. Hamburg's waterfront development project, Hafen City, was built to withstand floodwaters. The buildings are constructed on plinths on top of compacted fill. During a storm surge, the promenade would be flooded right away. But the apartments and businesses on their raised bases would be protected. Even if, as researchers predict, floodwaters reach unprecedented heights in future, still more research is needed. There are aspects which aren't fully understood yet. The entire cryosphere, ice sheet dynamics, the predictions and prognoses of the behavior of the polar ice caps, for example. These models are still in their infancy and, for the moment, create uncertainty when it comes to predicting rising sea levels. But the builders of Hamburg's Hafen City have certainly taken the climate researchers' core message to heart and made it the foundation of this waterfront project.